Item number SCP-702, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-702 is to be contained in a crate lined with mundane packing materials. The crate is to be kept in a standard security locker with armed guards at all times. If the crate is breached, under no circumstances are any personnel to touch the SCP without wearing a pair of standard insulated gloves and an insulated coat. The slated destruction of SCP-702 is indefinitely postponed due to the unknown effects of SCP-702-1 and possible containment breaches. Description SCP-702 is a simple red vase of unknown design. Human contact with the vase causes an entity, herein referred to as SCP-702-1, to emerge from the vase and initiate contact with the individual coming into contact with SCP-702. The method of detection seems to be thermal in nature as SCP-702-1 emerges when contact is established through thin, heat-transmitted materials, but does not emerge when contact is established through an insulated material. SCP-702-1 is a sapient gas-based life form that communicates through coordinated vibration of the air around it. A sample has been impossible to gather due to SCP-702-1's tendency to react violently to anyone coming into physical contact with it. Upon emergence, SCP-702-1 greets the subject, establishing contact with SCP-702 and attempts to persuade the subject to give it a gift. If the subject refuses the entity and takes a single object or part from the remains. Some objects are rejected by SCP-702-1, claiming that it already has one and deems a new gift, returning the offered object. If SCP-702-1 accepts the offered gift, it returns an object of roughly equal value to the subject and disappears. See Experiment 702-001 through 702-004 for a transcript of successful transactions with SCP-702. Addendum Transcript Log of Experiment 702 001. Subject D5567 was issued with a freshly sharpened number 2 Ticonderoga pencil. So I just touch it? That's right D5567, you have the object ready correct? Yeah, it's, it's just a damn pencil, don't, don't really see what I'm going to do with it though. Don't worry about that, J just touch the vowels. Alright, alright. A sound of rushing air is heard. But what what the hell? Greetings, Corporeal One. I presume you are here to deal. I I I The pencil, you idiot. Uh, yes, sir. H here you go. Thank you, body hound. Here is your object, and that will be all. An intake of air is heard. Uh, an eraser? Very good, D5567. Proceed to debriefing. Transcript log of experiment 702-002 Subject D1699 was issued a crystalline sculpture of procured by the psychological ward from a patient. D1699 proceed. A sound of air rushing is heard. Ah! <laughs> is it time to trade so soon? How delightful! Well, well, you are clearly the one who bothered me. Speak up! Talk to it! Subject 1699 gibbers incoherently. You waste my time, fool. We shall not deal. Subject 1699 was killed by SCP-702-1. The sculpture was recovered. Transcript log of experiment 702-003. Subject D-1010 was issued a crystalline sculpture of procured by the psychological ward from a patient. Go ahead, 1010. We haven't got all day. No, 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 what's he got to do? You, you got to tell me first, Doc. 
Subject D1010, I remind you that deviation from protocol will result in immediate termination by Foundation security staff. I... <sighs> Fine. A sound of rushing air is heard. You're kind again. I do so love new pieces from my collection. Oh, oh, oh God, collection? I, I don't want to die. I have only a short time, slow one, and you waste it. Do you desire trade or no? Ch you want this fucked up statue? SCP-702-1 appears to be considering the statue and is emitting a humming sound. Note, harmonics testing later indicated a frequency associated with deep thought. How very... interesting. Here is my response. An intake of air is heard. Uh, wow, that's heavy. Proceed to debriefing 1010. Long period of silence. Recording clicks off and clicks on again. SCP-702-1 issued a 2.8 kilogram jar of an undefined liquid. The jar appears to be made of glass. The liquid is clear, but I am not removing the lid to identify odours. The jar will be sent to the labs for chemical analysis. Transcript log of experiment 702-004. Subject D-8133 was issued a vial containing a sample from SCP-158. So, I'd touch the vase with this in my hand and, and give it away if I can. That is correct, D-8133. Please listen to briefings in the future. Alright, doc, 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 get your panties in a knot. <laughs> Just proceed with the experiment, D-8133. A sound of rushing air is heard. The fuck? Those of flesh and blood, sinew and bone again. Your kind always has such fascinating trinkets, and trade has never been so brisk. Here, take this and let me get out of here. SCP-702-1 is emitting a hum, as in Experiment 702-003. Note, harmonics testing later identified a frequency associated with Thea. Absolutely not. I am tempted, but I cannot possibly afford that. Good day. An intake of air is heard. So, uh, can I leave? Absolutely, Subject D-8133. Head to the debriefing room, and well done. Addendum. Any further experimentation on SCP-702 is, is to be appended to Experiment Log 702 in the abbreviated style outlined therein. Experiment Log 702 Format Name of researcher Interacting personnel Object traded Object received Notes Experiment 702-001 Name of researcher Doctor Interacting personnel D5567 Object traded, number 2, Ticonderoga Pencil. Object received, eraser, notes, none. Experiment Log 702-002. Name of researcher, doctor, interacting personnel, D1699. Object traded, crystalline sculpture. Object received, none, notes, D-1699 was killed by SCP-702-1, failing to complete the transaction. Experiment 702-003 Name of researcher, doctor, interacting personnel, D-1010 Object traded, crystalline sculpture Object received, 2.8 kilograms unidentified liquid Notes, none Experiment 702-004 Name of researcher, doctor Interacting personnel, D-8133 Object traded, sample from SCP-158 Object received, none Notes, SCP-701-1 refused to trade with D-8133 and ceased communications immediately 
Experiment 702-005. Name of researcher, doctor. Interacting personnel, D9134. Object traded, glass marble. Object received, one inch torch on fire when received. Notes. SCP-701-1 sustained humming for more than four minutes before completing the transaction. Experiment 702-006 Name of researcher, Professor Chassinor Interacting personnel, D-12004 Object traded, 1952 printing of the Encyclopedia Britannica Object received, wooden cuckoo clock circa 1930. Notes none. Experiment 702-007. Name of researcher, Professor Chassinor. Interacting personnel, D12004. Object traded, inexpensive plastic cups, set of four. Object received, trade refused, communication seized. Notes 702 already had some of the cups. Peacefully seized communications. Experiment 702-008 Name of researcher Professor Chassinor Interacting personnel D8090 Object traded Pair Brand running shoes Object received Player's guide for A video game from the late 1990s Notes. That was fairly unexpected. Experiment 702-009. Name of researcher Professor Chassinor. Interacting personnel D8090. Object traded. Accurate reproduction of Doctor in silhouette produced by SCP-067. Object received. Silken necktie circa 1975. Notes none. Experiment 702-010 Name of researcher Dr. Zara Interacting personnel D8090 Object traded Contents of 400ml bottle of Gekaiken brand Saki Not the bottle itself as informed to SCP-702-1 Object received 3 pounds of prepared crabs loose Notes The bottle stayed behind S702-1 didn't seem to find the request unusual or problematic to it. Experiment 702-011 Name of researcher Dr. Zara Interacting personnel D8090 Object traded Rabbit fur coat Object received Roll of human skin Apparently belonging to Caucasian adult male Notes Name of Damn researcher Dr. Bridge. Was being so Interacting cold. personnel D1123. Object traded. Hardbound copy of Mein Kampf. Object received. Teddy bear made of Vulpers Vulpers fur. Notes none.